Mike, uh, the round robin of jokes is brought to you by Round Round Robin Real Estate, known for plus size fa- sales figures. Uh, and what we do here is we do a round, a round table of jokes. Anybody can chime in. The topic this week is grandpa jokes. So, uh, Mike, my grandpa was so ahead of his time. So ahead of his time, wasn't he? Mike, he gained his COVID-19 in 1987. <laughs> oh. uh, that's that's ahead of his time. That is ahead of his time. Wow. I, don't, I don't know if I ever told you about my grandpa. No, you didn't. He uh, he grew up in rural Texas, and uh, he used to tell me a story about how his mother used to give him a dollar and send him down to the store, and he'd come back with two loaves of bread, a half gallon of milk, and a carton of eggs, and a pound of pork. He said, "You can't do that nowadays because there's way too many security cameras." <laughs> I think rural Texas is a uh, redundancy, but uh, wonderful joke. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So my grandpa was so perverted. All his porn collection was the original base material for the internet. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. So you're, you have a famous relative. <laughs> uh, I, I love grandpa jokes uh, uh, do you mike, ned or as mike calls them jokes <laughs> come, on, <laughs> come on yeah that's good very good joke mike my tough favorite. news in my family uh my grandfather was diagnosed with scoliosis um, it was yeah but i think the doctors were grading on a curve Mm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa actually had scoliosis. Oh, yeah, I, I remember when my great grandfather died. They cremated his body. They kept his toupee. It's now considered a family heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep that joke top of mind. I guess. <laughs> what, what, you know the worst That's part a about bald face lie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ned Rice just getting right in there with the digs. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite grandpa joke actually happened to me. I was in Washington, D.C., sightseeing, and I walked, was walking to this park and I saw this elderly man sitting on a park bench crying. Do you know this one? No. And I said, Sir, what's what on earth? What's wrong, sir? And he said, I'm married to a young, beautiful woman and she's madly in love with me. She's a wonderful cook and all she wants to do is love me and take care of me and be good to me and make wild, passionate love to me every night. I said, sir, what's the, what's the problem? He said, I can't remember where I live. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, sir, you, you live at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, sir. That's your, ah. <laughs> that's your address. Yeah. True story. Yeah. Well, my, my grandfather was clever. Was he? Oh, God, yeah. He called imitation vanilla Millie Vanilli. <laughs> <laughs> so he was pretty hip. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Now, on my father's side, my grandpa was pretty stupid. Uh, Mike, Mike, in school, he had more tutors than Queen Elizabeth's family tree. <laughs> wow. That would start at and, one. Well, I brought that joke back from last week. Uh, just Elizabeth's from the House of Windsor. Give the people what they want. Yeah. <laughs> My grandpa was a tutor also. Uh-huh. Was he really? Math and English? Or... <laughs> no, he spelled it T O O T E R. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a different kind of thing yeah oh. i had the, I had the yes. same problem what a guess i had the same problem with my grandfather during really? christmas mass you know halfway through the service he leaned over to my uh, grandmother and said i just let out a silent thought what do you think i should do and my grandmother said Put a new battery in your hearing aid. (laughs) (laughs) Mike, my grandfather is charitable. So charitable. Every year he does the walk for gout. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not a long walk, but the more money you raise, the less you have to walk. What a pain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I once had a conversation with my grandfather. I said, after 65 years of marriage, I still call grandma sweetheart, darling, and honey. I said, what's the secret to keeping the flame burning, grandpa? He said, I forgot her name five years ago, and I, I dare not ask her it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot like my grandfather. Was, oh, yeah, Mike? Yeah, he was from Maine, and he used to watch the, the sun go down from the porch in a rocking chair next to uh, my grandmother every year. He would just sit there night after night after night in silence, total silence, just watching watching the sun go down. And then uh, after they'd been married about 56 years, I think it was, he turned to her one night while they were watching the sun go down and he said, you know, Martha, all these years we've been married, every day I've loved you so much that sometimes I could hardly keep from telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Uh, Mike, my grandfather was old school cool. That's what I didn't do. <laughs> he was cool. How cool was was Very cool. Uh, in fact, when he went to the Pride Parade, it was uphill both ways. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I ever tell you about my grandfather when he was? What about your grandfather? Yeah. Or is it Sorry? Ned? Ned, what do you about? Uh, he. This is a true story, of course. My grandfather was was searching around in the attic for something, and he found this strange looking bottle, and he 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 brushed the dust off it, and a genie came out of the bottle. Really. And he said, I, I will grant you one wish. And my grandpa found an old map of the Middle East. And he said, for my whole life, there's been nothing, nothing but turmoil and anger and hatred and warfare in the Middle East. It seems like it's intractable. It can never end. My one wish is for peace, peace in the Middle East. And the genie said, well, you know, I, I can grant you one wish, but that's a very complicated, that's a multi-layered, there's, there's a great deal of, of ins and outs and moving parts as far as a Middle East peace plan. That's, I mean, that's, that's really, that's actually beyond the scope of what I can grant you in a single wish. And Grandpa said, okay, uh, well, I've been married to my wife for 55 years. And in 55 years time, she has never given me oral sex. My wish, my wish is for my my elderly wife to, to perform oral sex on me. And the genie said, let me see, let me take a look at that map again, real quick. You really brushed the dust off a classic genie joke. Uh, <laughs> I, I dream of that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Aladdin, Aladdin, Israel would love that joke. Yes, well, I, Mike. I, I heard your grandpa was so funny that they roasted him at his cremation. Yeah, mm. ouch! <laughs> Is it true he died of COVID one? <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> My grandfather died of what killed the Neanderthals. I'm saying I'm old. What? Saying that. He, he was old. Anyway, um, so... Um, Mike, I think we nailed it. Those, uh, those were some good grandpa woo, jokes. Woo. Way to go, everybody. I'm not... I always, get to, I always sort of pull back <laughs> some, of the, some of the younger kids. Get some laughs. Right. Uh, You've been doing it for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> I have a tremendous amount of restraint, Ned. Seems to be sort of your trademark in a way. In a way, it is my trademark. It is my okay. Trademark. Right. So several prizes to choose from here. Uh, if you feel like you won a prize today, choose from any one of these amazing gifts. Uh, <laughs> it's like a travel receipt, uh, some <laughs> plants, and then uh, a photo of Mike's lesbian aunt. 
<laughs> and her roommate very, from college. That's some very, very primitive porn. <laughs> right. Uh, and I guess we needed to augment the prizes. So Chef Scapone is here, and he'll get you if you need a salad. Have have a super sweet salad. Hold the romaine. Hold the romaine. Um, 